What's up YouTube family? Welcome back to my channel, Dawn here, and today's video is going to be about how to get your voice to sound more feminine and to feminize your voice as a male to female transgender. Something that I usually would do is pay attention to the way that the women around me spoke, how breathy they were, how pitchy they are, and the tone of voice that they use. So typically women speak with a lot more breath in their voice and it helps them sound the tone that they do and also it just makes their voice sound overall very feminine. Women do a lot of hand gestures as they speak and they are very feminine with the way they do things. They're more precise. They don't rush when we're speaking and you are very articulate. Tip two is singing lessons and vocal exercises. So something that I like to do, um, I learned from choir because I was in choir in high school. Don't laugh at me, you guys, but this is a cool little exercise that you guys can do. It's You're using the alphabet A through um, Z, and it goes like this. It goes, well, we skip A. We start with B. B A B B I B B I B K B I B O B O B K B I B O B B O B O B K B I B O B O C I C I C I C I C I C I C I C I C I C I C I C I C I C I C I C I C I C I C I C I C I C I C I C I C I C I C I C I C I C I C I C I C I C I C I C I C I C I C I C I C I C I C I C I C I C I C I C I C I C I C I C I C I C I C I C I C I C I C I C I C I C I C I C I C I C I C I C I C I C I C I C I C I C I C I C I C I C I C I C I C I C I C I C I C I C I C I C I C I C I C I C I C I C I C I C I C I C I C I C I C I C I C I C I C I C I C I C I C I C I C I C I C I C I C I C I C I C I C I C I C I C I C I C I C I C I C I C I C I C I C I C I C I C I C I Another thing that I learned is women pronunciate a lot more than men do. They complete their sentences and articulate a lot on the words that they say just to make sure that it was heard very clear and they just get it out all the way instead of trying to cut things short. Men are more stern and aggressive with the way that they say things and just get right to the point. Women do a lot of explaining, and that's probably why men say that we talk too much, but you know, that's just how we speak. We can't really help that. Oh my God, sorry, my hair is doing some crazy shit. <laughs> Women are more soft and soft-spoken with the way that they say things and articulate, and it just helps create an overall more soft, more like cute, more female sounding voice. A guy will complete a sentence in like one breath typically and as opposed to women we will sometimes take a breath in the middle of our sentences just to like you know create that more female feminine pattern. For example a guy will be like hey I'm going to the store I'm going to just start to pick up some baloney and you know a woman would be like Hey darling, I'm going to the store to pick up some bologna, some mayonnaise, and also some whatever the hell else. So, you know, it just really creates a more feminine sounding tone of voice. It, you know, makes you sound more feminine, I guess. Women typically don't use slang or shorten their words. Um, I'm sure that, you know, some do. I guess it just all depends on you as a person but um women typically don't shorten their words to speak we usually say the whole word we don't abbreviate things frequently as men do um unless you're using or speaking in i am's or texting whatever that doesn't matter but this is speaking like um like to someone face to face but i've noticed that if you change your voice to sound like a woman but still speak in the pattern of a guy it just won't work for you because um, your voice will sound like a woman but you'll still have those male mannerisms and it just won't work out how you want it to because um, a lot of men do have high-pitched voices um, some trans girls are lucky to have high-pitched voices too when they're born um, but a lot of men have high-pitched voices and obviously you know they have the male mannerisms, so people still are aware that they are men. So, not only do you have to create that tone of voice and that pitch of voice to sound like a woman, but also you need to, um, you know, 
speak like a woman and the patterns of a woman and the way women speak. It doesn't necessarily work for everyone. Everyone has different vocal cords. Everyone has different nasal passageways. It all depends on, you know, you as a person. Um, if you have a super, super, super deep voice, <clears throat> this might not work for you. You might have to go through surgery. And the only place I know they do that is Korea. However, um, I do believe that you can get your voice to do what you want it to do. You can manipulate it to sound as feminine as you want. There are lots of ways, like I'm explaining in this video, to change your voice to sound like a more feminine female voice. A technique that I'm familiar with is singing or talking in the Mickey Mouse falsetto voice. So if you want to talk like this, you can talk like this and it really helps change your voice into a really cool feminine voice. Um, my friend actually told me about that technique, the Mickey Mouse falsetto voice. So what you do is you talk in the Mickey Mouse falsetto voice and you start lowering it down to the pitch that you find yourself being comfortable with. So for example, I'm talking in the Mickey Mouse voice up here and then I'm lowering it down to where I want to be comfortable. So this is where like my voice is like right here. Um, you do that for a few months and you will learn and exercise your vocal cords enough to have it naturally sound that way. Now this is naturally how my voice sounds um, over the um, span of a year and a half of voice training myself. Um, this is what my voice sounds like now and it really does take a little bit of time because in the beginning of my transition my voice was actually very like raspy and bassy and like sounding like a soup like a gay guy that's what it sounded like it sounded like a very feminine gay guy at first and over the time it will progress it's just your vocal cords need to get used to sounding the way that it does like when you're trying to make it sound that way I do believe that um, when you exercise your vocal cords for a long time, they can possibly shrink just the tiniest bit. I'm not sure if it can shrink like all the way to like what a natural born female's vocal cords would sound like, but I'm sure it can shrink. Another technique that I use is I use the Mickey Mouse voice and I read a book. So what you do is you open a book and you talk in the Mickey Mouse voice and you just read whatever that it's saying. And that's also a good technique that you can use. Another tip that, um, I know that will help you have a more feminine voice is to lift your larynx. So what you do is you act like you're swallowing something and then you hold it and after you start to do that for a while and start talking like that, you will get used to it and you don't have to worry about it. In the first like two months, it'll be like super difficult because your body's not used to doing that. But what you can do is hold here, swallow, Make sure it's up there and it makes your voice sound super feminine, super fish, girl. So after, you know, in the beginning of the transition, I would walk around everywhere doing this, like just practicing holding it up there because, you know, I was super dedicated and I didn't want to be clocked, you know, for sounding, you know, manly at all. I didn't want that. I wouldn't say that my voice was manly in the beginning. It was like kind of deep, but it wasn't like manly. Well, it was. Okay, I'm lying. I'm lying. It was kind of manly deep, but it wasn't like deep, deep to where it wasn't like fixable. All you have to do is just practice, practice, practice lifting your larynx and holding it there as you're talking. And also what it does help is when you turn to the side, you won't, you'll notice that your Adam's apple will not be visible. So when you're talking, it won't be visible and it'll help you not get clocked in public. So yeah, so that's a really helpful tip for you guys. What we're trying to do when we're voice training is we're trying to eliminate the bass from your voice. So how to do that is to bring your voice from your chest to your nose. So what I've noticed is that a lot of trans girls are like, well, I don't want to sound nasally. I don't want to like you know, sound like I'm like trying too hard because also that does give it away too. 
But if you notice, being nasally is part of a woman's voice. If you listen in to a lot of the way, a lot of the women that speak and the way that they speak, it's very breathy and it's coming from their nose and it's just natural that way. Um, it can sound too nasally, it can sound overwhelmingly too nasally if you try too hard, but you want to start off slow and you don't want to move too fast. But do remember in the beginning, it will sound very nasally, but you want to eliminate the bass from your chest and you want to bring it up here to where it sounds, you know, more at this level. So bring it from down here and bring it up here because this is where you want it to be when you're talking in public, especially if you're talking to a guy or something. You don't want to sound like a man talking to a guy because if okay you can be as passable as you want but that voice will get you clocked girl because if you don't get it together you know it'll throw people off you know it's like a super complex like contrast if you like have a very feminine pretty face and a very deep voice so it'll kind of scare people and it'll kind of like make you feel like shit when they walk away from you um so you know, just try and use these tips and work on it. Another tip that I noticed um, helped me is singing in the shower or just singing aloud in a high-pitched falsetto voice. Um, so basically, that's your head voice. You want to use your head voice when singing, and singing um, really helps because it's exercising your vocal cords um, and making it easier and exercising everything and making it easier for you to create a more higher pitched feminine tone. That's basically it you guys for voice feminization for male to female transgender. Um, it's not really that hard you just have to really be dedicated and practice 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 and really create that pattern. You can't be lazy you got to do this if it's something you want to do um, if you want to like you know pass completely or have a very feminine voice. I know that, you know, in the beginning it was very hard for me, but now I'm here and it's a lot better for me. I'm still improving every day. I'm not, I wouldn't say that I'm exact, well, I like my voice where it is. I'm, I'm fine. That was pretty much it for this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Comment, like, and subscribe. I'll also leave my email down in the description box below if you guys want to contact me. Also, I wanted to bring up a new idea for you guys. So what I was thinking is it's like hashtag ask Dawn. I'm going to start this new chapter on my channel. I was thinking of asking you guys first before I do. It's called ask Dawn. And basically what you do is you tell me stories about things that you've been through or just tell me stories and ask for advice with this within this email address and I'll answer as many as possible in a video series so I'll be creating that series on my channel so if you have um, any questions or any if you want any advice go ahead and send me an email and I'll make a video and hopefully you show up in it so yeah comment like subscribe and have a good night or a day wherever you are in the world and I'll see you guys later peace